Uh, going to the warrants. Um, let me just highlight some of the top. You found something. I, I, I did. It actually, our our spam filter is working well. I'm <laughs> <laughs> glad to say. <laughs> You're spamming me out. Yeah, okay. so you have, a, you have it blocked, and I'm, we're going to set a new rule to allow you uh, to come in. It was. It did come to my work email, but I did find it in, the, in the, our junk mail. So sorry okay. about that. Thing. Uh, let me highlight the the, the key ones. Sure. Uh, uh, action learning systems for fifteen thousand dollars. Yes, action learning systems was the organization that uh, supported us for our uh, professional development days through three days uh, in August and two additional days in October um, uh, on the Common Core work uh, that we're doing with teachers. Okay, good. Uh, chrysalis coaching for 2,900? I'm uh, fairly certain that's a special ed support uh, service. I'm not sure uh, if it's uh, occupational therapy or what, it, uh, I believe it's related to special ed. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not. I apologize. I, I, know, I know an organization with that similar name. Uh, Ms. Tamer just reminded me what it is. Uh, that is Tracy Tomaski, the consultant that is helping us with visioning. The visioning. Yes, thank Got you. Uh, there is a special ed person. Uh, LSA... Associates. Oh, I believe that's an ECCL project expense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hat. I don't know how to Hatchel say. Hatchell Tabernacle and Associates. Yeah. I'm. I'm. My memory serves me correct. I believe they're the firm that we're required. We're required uh, by the after-school grant to contract out for um, an audit uh, each year for our after-school program, okay. and so they handle that attendance yeah. audit. Okay. Didn't recognize that name, but looks like some professional group. Uh, Paxio for six thousand dollars. Paxio uh, ha uh, helps us with our wireless internet. Okay. And then uh, there were two uh, payments to uh, charter schools, Aspire Public Schools for ninety six hundred, and Yuming Charter for thirty eight forty three. Yeah, Dorsu, could you come up and explain, help explain that to the board for us? Is that a pass through of some I, I some sort? Think, I think it had to do with the one year we became a basic aid oh. district, but Dorsu knows this better than uh -huh. I do. That will be a one-time payment. Uh, apparently, it will be covering part of my presentation during the first interim. It's a one-time payment that going back to 1213 when Emory is a basic aid school district. Mm -hmm. And apparently, we are supposed to transfer a portion of the property taxes mm -hmm. that we received <coughs> uh, at that year to the charter school, in this case, a two charter school, Yuming and Aspire. And then for the students, their principal residency is in Emeryville. I see, I was gonna say, yeah, so my next question was, yes. why those two? Uh, and it's because they're serving students yes. that are from Emory. Yep. Okay, huh, that answers that. Okay, uh, with that, I. I Unless there are other questions, I'll move that we adopt the warrants. As an impressed uh, board member, I would I would second that you guys <laughs> captured all that in moments. Great. And that's a second. That's a second. Okay. Any objections? <laughs> Public comment. Uh, roll call, please. Member Ash. Yes. Member Miriam. Yes. Member Pats. Yes. Vice President Dice. Yes. President Affleck. Yes. Okay, on to uh, action items. Uh, and we've already uh, taken care of our first action item, which was the uh, parcel tax report. Um, now we have an amendment. Uh, the second action item is amendment to measure A, fiscal oversight bylaws. Superintendent? Yes, good evening. Uh, the purpose of this, of this item, board members, is to update our, our bylaws as amended uh, where we went ahead and updated the uh, measure uh, letter language from uh, measure A to measure K. And that's the, uh, that's the only amendment? Yes. Okay. Any questions on that? Uh, do we have a a motion? I move approval. I'll second. Uh, any public comment? Uh, roll call, please. Member Ash? Yes. Member Miriam? Yes. Member Pats? Yes. Vice President Dice? Yes. President Affelt? Yes. 
All right, the next item is Cal State Teach Intern Teaching Agreement. Ms. Harrell. Good evening. The item for the um, intern teaching agreement, it's a lot of these are, are um, we put them in place each year, but we don't always use them. It's, um, it's good community relationships, it's good community building. We, have it, we only have one intern teacher this year, and that intern is from Cal State East Bay. But this is for Cal State, um, Cal Teach. In the event we had a need, and in the event that they had a candidate who met all of the necessary criteria. But we don't anticipate hiring another intern this year. Uh, the, the Cal State East Bay intern is working under a specific agreement we have with Cal State East Bay, yeah. is that it? Similar to this agreement, yes, yeah. but it's for but Cal State East Bay. But that, and that one, because this one covers multiple subjects, elementary mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. K-8 teachers, and, and our intern is a uh, uh, high school science, right? Well, the one with Cal State East Bay, yes. Yeah, um, okay. Um, so it's really just uh, putting this in place in case we need an intern for the second semester we second have half of the right. We have them in place at Mills College, but we don't have a Mills intern this year. So we just—it's just in, pl in place in case it happens, in case we need it. Yeah, um, and and typically this would be sort of a pro forma um, acceptance uh, on my part, but the um, I. The intern regulations that, that govern interns have been updated, mm -hmm. and I don't think this agreement captures the, the current requirements. Okay. So the, the one issue I have with it is it's saying that the intern will be, s um, I'm trying to find it, but mentored for basically two hours a week. Where, which section? The See, school I district or the college? Which number? Uh, I said I couldn't find it, but uh, oh, give me a second. Oh, it's number two. Do you see it? Where is it? School district, will, it's the last section. School district will do the following. It's number two. Uh, ensure the school has. Approximately two hours per week will be needed. Two, that's One from hour. us. Um, where, and I didn't see a, unless I missed it, how much they're going to support the Insti the IHE, the Institute of Higher Ed, is going to provide each week. The I think it's... I think uh, the first paragraph is where they're saying what they're going to do. Cal State Teach agrees to do the following. Yeah, but there's... Here's, here's what the new regulations require. 144 hours a year okay. of uh, support, supervision, guidance, um, divided between us and the university. If and you and I don't send me that, yeah. I, will take, I will take what you have and mm -hmm. I'll use it as my guide going yeah. forward and I'll send it back to Cal State Teach and I'll use that for any other agreements that come in Yeah. for them to incorporate it into their, into their MOUs. So may, maybe they haven't updated their MOUs. Um, and the other thing it requires is if, as would be the case with, with us, if we anticipate they'll be teaching uh, English learner in their classrooms, the institution needs to provide them 45 hours of pre-service training on English learners. Okay. So that should be uh, reflected in the MOU. And, and the CTC's guidance does require that this agreement between us and the mm -hmm. institution reflect that 144 hours and reflect the, the pre-service. Okay. Then so I'll I will send you, you that. Send me, and then I can use that as my template going forward. And that that may be in <coughs> our in our other agreement, as I recall, uh, it, it because I know they did a good. They seem to do a good job of updating. I they were in the middle of updating their agreement when right. that one came That's in. That's why I came to us. I, I kind of think you're right. I think, it was I in the I think with Cal State East Bay. <coughs> yeah. But just in case Cal State East Bay did it their way, and the other institutions uh. haven't, if I have a template or basic information. I can just simply send that and say, please incorporate <coughs> this. Well, yeah, and, yeah, and you might, we could even just send it back and say, you know, and ask them, is this is this up to date with the CTC regulations? Because it appears to us mm -hmm. that it's not, and we yeah. can let them do, you know, I do, can that. do that. Okay. So, given that, can can we um, can you go back, take this back to them, and, then and bring it back in the future? Yes. I mean, there's no burning need no. to prove this one tonight. No. Okay. Is that am amenable to the rest of the board? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
uh, on to our next item, which is, uh, you should stay up there for, our, our Cal State Teach uh, Student Teaching Agreement. Yes. You want to explain what this is? That is simply for students who need to perform their student teaching hours in order to meet their credentialing needs, and some students simply need their volunteer work to um, meet their student teaching needs. Okay. Or not to meet their credentialing requirement needs. All right. Any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. nope. Yeah, this, um, this looks great to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. we, we want to support uh, new teachers, and, and we get great um, help do. from mm -hmm. our, my son's class has a very good year-long uh, student teacher. So, do we have a motion? Move to approve. Second. 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 I think Christian got that first <laughs> 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 on the second. Uh, any public comment? Uh, roll call, please. Member Ash? Yes. Member Merriam? Yes. Member Pats? Yes. Vice President Dice? Yes. President Halifant? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Harrell. Uh,